Yeah, Curtis, I think this might be the biggest shocker of the season. I don't think anyone saw Mart falling to Fall City. This is the first time since 2016 the Mart Panthers will not be playing in the state title game. It was a close game all night, really back and forth. It was 10 to 3 at half, and Mart looked like they were kind of pulling away in the second half. They had a 10 point lead at one point, but then they turned it over in the red zone. That was a Beaver touchdown. The rest is history. Fall City's defense was on point all night. They forced them to throw the ball a lot more than they're used to, and it was just not what anyone expected, but it doesn't take away from what Mart accomplished this season. They finished 14 and one five straight semifinal appearances, and Kevin Hoffman said it stings, but they will come back stronger. We've done we've done a lot uh, over the years, and you know, uh, don't let this one loss run uh, all that. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt tonight, and it's going to hurt tomorrow, and then probably all weekend. We won't get over it. It's just like the loss last year. You know, you don't get over it. You'll you'll continue to uh, remember it, and you know, hopefully, these younger kids uh, use that as motivation. Again, just a stunning loss for Mart tonight. The final score 24 to 20 and Fall City had lost to Mart the last four seasons. So uh, now it's their turn to get to the state title game. Curtis. Yeah, this is the first time since at least 2013. We won't have a state finalist in class 2A from Central Texas.